I read it to you on Wednesday night, but I'm gonna read it again to you now. Verse 11, he says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the, for, to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, say but time and chance have next to them all. I like to always read it from the New Living Translation. It says, I observe, I have observed something else under the sun. The fastest runner doesn't always win the race. Hello? Are you hearing me? Are you seeing that in your Bible? He said the fastest runner doesn't always win the race. God said it about the year. Let the Spirit of God talk to all of you right now. Listen. And the strongest warrior doesn't always win the battle. The wise sometimes go hungry. And men and the skillful are not necessarily wealthy. Have you not seen people? They have skills. Too many skills. They talk about their skills, you but yet they are poor. They are broke. And you're wondering with all these skills you have, how, they, how, how are you managing to be poor? How are you managing it? With all the skills you have, he says that. Men of skill are not necessarily wealthy. And those who are educated don't always lead successful lives. So I have DDD, I have PhD, I have. So I'm a whatever you have. I have 10 certificates of various courses. I'm a chartered economist. I'm a chartered accountant. I'm a chartered management. Uh, uh, I'm a chartered, chartered scientist. All of them put together. Hallelujah. He said, and those who are educated don't always lead successful lives. He now says, it is all decided by chance. You know, the King James call it time and chance happening to them all. But yeah, he said, no, what is time and chance? He said, it is being at the right place at the right time. Do you know a musician that is not guided by wisdom can release his music maybe three years before and nobody will hear about it. But meanwhile, if we had waited three years to release that music, that music could have been global. But how we didn't know only wisdom can tell you such a thing. Are you hearing? Wisdom can let you know. Hold on. Let this you release your own 20. Yeah, you song, everything is ready. He says, wait, you will release your own June next year. I don't want to, I can't even wait until June. Let me be dropping it all out. But the wisdom knows, if you release it now, you will not make anything from that music. Nobody will get to hear about it. Then you see the musician release the song. He's not looking for who will play the song. He's going from church to radio station to give them the song to play. Why? He was not guided by wisdom. Hallelujah. The Bible says if you lack wisdom, pray to God to give you wisdom. But we don't lack wisdom. Are you hearing me? We have wisdom. Christ is made unto us, Sophia. We have wisdom. Hallelujah. Don't close that Bible. We are still reading. 
Let's jump to verse 14. There was a little city and few men within it, and there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man. Say it, me say, poor wise man. He said, There was found in the city a poor wise man. This man might have so fear. I hear it. But he doesn't. Maybe he also has sunesis. He can comprehend things. But he doesn't have phronesis. Because there is no way you have phronesis and be poor. Phronesis makes you act. Who we'll get there? So he said. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no man remembered the same poor man. Chai. This city was was besieged. They were going to war. They were already losing out because they were a little city. A great city, uh, city has come up against them. And the Bible says that by the wisdom of this poor wise man, poor wise man, by his wisdom, their city was delivered. Yet nobody remembered him. He was the one that told them what to do. And they did it and they came up, came out victorious. Yet nobody remembered him. Look at what he said in the next verse. Verse 16. Let's read it together. I want to go. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. I can never be poor in my life. Never. Brothers and sisters, no matter what happens in this life, make sure you are not poor. He said the poor man's wisdom is despised. He first said that wisdom is greater than strength. Wisdom is greater than strength. I've seen men with abilities not able to do great things in life. But these guys have abilities. You look at them, you can see great abilities. But yet, they have not been able to do anything in life with so much abilities. So it, it, it tells us that, that wisdom is greater than strength. But yet, a poor man's wisdom is despised. A poor man's wisdom is despised. Mando Freddy Gabahaya, Rabbi Digo Soso Zigara, Lelico Paradigo, Shata Crapadish. Hmm. 